Roar. I'm a scary lion. <laughs> Bitch. Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video. And today I'm kind of redoing a video that I've already done. I did the 10 facts about Brian the Scary Lion. I did this a while ago. And this was before the channel changed. If you remember, it used to be Brian the Scary Lion, but as more people came in, we became Scary Lion and Co. Because we've now got Pterodactyl Tom, we've got Sophie the Unicorn, we've got Liam the Editor. Like, as, as things keep adapting, uh, we might keep doing Meredith's in the future, but um, right now what I'm going to be doing is 50, 50 facts about me. I've got a list of 50 questions, I've got this from the internet, uh, and this should let you know a little bit more about me. I did the 10 facts about Brian the Scary Lion, I wanted to change it up in this one, so we're doing 50, and I'm going to try to go a bit more quick speed, a little brief description about my answer maybe but then we fire on to the next one. What's going to make this a little different as well is I'm not the only one that's going to be doing this. Uh, this video is just me, but we will also be doing one for Liam, one for Thomas and one for Sophia as they are like main staples in the channel. Also, you might have seen we have hit 200 subscribers. It happened very, very, very fast. I believe we're close to 300. If I look, hold on. As of recording this video, we are on 289 subscribers. So we're pushing close to 300. I, I don't have a 200 subscriber video just yet. I've got one in mind, but it may take a little while because I have to get everybody together. If we hit 300 before that, I've got another thing in mind to make it a bigger video. Uh, but it's one of them, I have to get everybody together in one room to be able to do it. So it just takes a little bit of time. So before we get into this, I just want to say hello to everybody who's new and subscribed and hey, let us get into a few of these questions, learn a little bit more about me. First one, what's your full name? Brian Cook, don't have a middle name. What does your name mean? I can't remember what it was, uh, my mum showed me something that like Brian means strength and Cook means like kind of some shit like that. I was like, I, I don't care, I, I, it's a name. Are you named after anyone? No, I believe it was my big sister who named me. Does your name make any interesting anagrams? Um, brain? Uh, B-Rain? <laughs> if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Uh, Max. Don't know why, just Max. Where are you from? Uh, oh wait, I just saw the next question. The next, we're, we're going to tie these two together. Uh, where, are you where were you born and where are you from? I was born in Scotland, uh, born in Glasgow. I've lived there a little bit of my life, but I always say that I'm from Blackburn. This is where my childhood was. I grew up here. I mean, I spent like a year or two in my childhood in Scotland, but I grew up in Blackburn. That like this is where I'm from. If you get me, this is where I learned all my values and everything. Where did you grow up? I just answered that one. I grew up in Blackburn. Who did you look up to growing up? I looked up to a few people. Some of them no, either not in my life anymore or like shit just changed. Uh, the one I looked up to most, probably my dad. What are your best character characteristics? Uh, I try to see the good in people. I don't see the good in myself, but I think that builds towards it. Because I don't see the good in myself, I see the good in, I try to see the good in other people. What's your favourite things about yourself? We'll move past that question. It's kind of hard to answer when you've got my mind at the minute. Uh, which of your parents are you closest to? Right, uh, my dad has passed away, so I was... Growing up, I was very, very, very close to my dad. When my mum and dad split up, it grew a little bit estranged. So now it would be my mum I'm closest to. But I want to change that to family members. Which of my family members are my closest to? And that's definitely my brother. Uh, love my brother. It's not much more I can say. I'm closest to my brother. Which of your parents are you more like? My mum likes to tell me that I look a lot like my birth father. I try to tell it to stop that. When it comes to characteristics, I don't think I've, I don't think I'm really like either of them. 
I like some of the similar stuff, like when it comes to my dad, I like punk music, I like fishing, things like that. When it comes to my mum, I like a lot of older, uh, like berry and stuff like that. Are your grandparents still married? Uh, no, my, my granddad's passed away. And my granddad's passed away. So I, like, that, no. What relative was important to you growing up and why? Like all my relatives were important to me. I always looked for a sense of being with my family when I was younger. Which relative did I want to be around the mist? Probably, probably my uncle Al. My uncle Al always kept me laughing when I was younger. I'll say that my uncle Al, I always wanted to be around my uncle Al. He was just the fun uncle, like the really, really fun uncle. What is one thing that you've never revealed to your parents? <sighs> well, when I was younger, there was this one time um, that a window broke in my room and I always remained that I didn't know what the hell had happened with it. Um, but here's a little snippet. I got angry, went into my room and threw a toy robot at the window and the full thing shattered. <laughs> that, that, that's what happens here. Um, don't know if my mum will watch this. If you do, there you go mum. There's the mystery of the window. I threw a robot through it. Would your parents have called you if you were the opposite gender? <laughs> my, dad, my dad had nicknames for both me and Tom. Um, you'll have seen Tom's was uh, Thomasina. Uh, in our little brother vs brother who's more likely to a video. But Mines was Brenda. He always kept it close to our actual names. Mines was Brenda. What do you call your grandparents? Grandma and Granda. Simple. Nana P. What's your best physical feature? Uh, a while ago, I would have said Nen. I don't really like. Right, this isn't self deprecation. It's just the way I feel. I don't like the way I look at all. But recently, as, as I've been doing like, my eyeliner and that, I've really liked the way my eyes pop for it and I'm loving my hair. <laughs> what is your biggest accomplishment? <sighs> sticking with this, sticking with YouTube, it's got so hard. Um, like no matter how high the subscriber count goes, how high the views get, whatever, my biggest accomplishment will be doing this. I sometimes get wrapped up in my own heat, I push myself down, which it makes it harder for me to do stuff like this. So I'm glad I've stuck with this. I am so glad I have. I, I, I owe that to the love of doing it and the people around me, the people around me love you Zotty Bits. You have kept me going. And what is your biggest fear? I am scared of clowns. Uh, I usually say that that's my biggest fear. My biggest actual fear, uh, not many people know it, um, unless I've said it before on the channel, I might have said it uh, in a video with Sophie or something, but my biggest fear is actually everyone leaving me. I hate being like alone. I, I hate that sense of abandonment. What's your biggest regret? Probably not going to uni. I know that university isn't for everybody but I wanted to be an actor. I got in a, a good university but I ended up throwing it away. What is your eye colour? My eye colour is blue. What inspires you? There's a lot that inspires me. Other YouTubers, uh, big musicians, actors. What is the most important thing in your life? It is the people around me. You can take most of the shit away, um, but the people around me are the most important thing in my life. What has required the most courage of you in your life so far? Starting up this channel. It's another one of the things. Anxiety is a bitch. Starting up this channel was so fucking difficult. It was, it was getting my face out there, getting my name out there. That that took the most courage, I believe. <laughs> Who's your favourite actor? Ryan Reynolds. Who's your favourite actress? At the minute, I'd probably go with... Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie's sick. Who's your favourite celebrity? Ryan Reynolds. Who is your favourite musician? So that we'll cut this up, favourite musician, band, sing, like whatever, and at the minute, it always changes, at the minute I'd probably either go A Day To Remember or Avenged Sevenfold. A Day To Remember. Who's your favourite person in the world? Probably my little sister, Cara. 
I say probably, it's definitely. What is your favourite childhood memory? I think I've answered this before, but it's definitely fishing with my dad. Like, those were just some of the greatest times when I was a kid. What is your favourite colour? Don't care about it being a shade, it's black. What is your favourite cultural activity? No idea what that means. My favourite activity is watching wrestling. <laughs> we'll move on. What is your favourite drink? Relentless. What is your favourite fairy tale? Oh, that's a tricky one. I've always been partial to Rapunzel. Rapunzel's a good fairy tale. The three little pigs are sick. Rapunzel. Rapunzel's just a great story. What is your favourite food steak cooked with pink? Like, I don't like it bloody, but I want a nice layer of pink inside. Medium rare, is that what it's called? It's just like, I like it pinker than a lot of people like it pink. I've said pink about 50 times. Let's move on. My favourite food is steak. What's your favourite holiday destination? Uh, I've only been on holiday in the UK. I would probably say... Oh, Lake District. What is your favourite ice cream flavour? Rocky Road. I fucking love Rocky Road. What is your favourite music genre? Do I even need to answer that? It's rock. What's your favourite physical activity? Wrestling. I love pissing about like... I wanted to actually get into it, so we'll just, right, we'll say that and move on. <laughs> What's your favourite quote? Oh, that's a, that is a tricky one. Marlon Brando, I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Favourite snack? Sushi. Favourite song? Currently, currently the most played song on my playlist would be... Alexa Bliss by uh, Bowling for Soup, but oh no, I'll be Tales you you be Sonic by A Day to Remember. Fucking love that song. Or Help, Help by Papa Roach, another brilliant song. What's your favourite sport? Wrestling. What's your favourite time of the day when I get to go to bed? What is your favourite type of clothing? I wear a lot of stuff from. Uh, well, th this is new. Uh, but like you'll have seen my skull hoodies and that, they're all from Spiral. Uh, I order them on Amazon and it's always for the same store, Spiral. They do a lot of great stuff, honestly. Go and check them out, I'd say, if you're into the sort of stuff that I wear, go and check out Spiral on Amazon. I believe they've got their own website as well. This isn't like promotion, paid promotion or whatever, I'm just saying check it out. Like I love the stuff after that. And they're reasonably priced as well. What is the name of your favourite restaurant? Uh, we'll go restaurant slash takeaway. I don't really eat uh, like restaurants. If I was to go restaurant, it'd probably be Frankie and Benny's. Uh, if no, Harry's. Harry's the sick burger. And finally, what is your all-time favourite town or city, and why? Uh, it's gonna sound weird, but it is Blackburn, and the reason behind it is I've got so many memories here. Like, just so many. Some of them good, some of them bad. But you, ha you kinda have to take the bad with the good, or else you don't get the good. But there you go, 50 questions about me. Well, f 50 things about me, so you get to know me a little bit better. Um, like I say, Liam, Tom and Sophie will also be doing one of these. I don't know if they'll be doing it in the same style. They might just do 10 facts and just have a little bit more a deep explanation on each of them. Uh, whereas I just went quick fire messly. It's been a lot of fun doing this and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to butt fuck that like button. And once again, thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I am so, so happy. Thank you.